Hey, it's Bunny. No, JK, but not quite JK. I, I am, in fact, Bunny with an IE, like a classy motherfucker, but um, slightly, slightly different Bunny than <laughs> Great Red Girl. But um, so I've decided to start a vlogging channel, and those of you who know me will be very pleased by this. But maybe. Oh, no, that's vain. That's terrible, isn't it? Okay. Also, it needs a name. I haven't really worked on that yet. I haven't really thought through my cunning plan here. Like, maybe Bunny's Tales? Huh? Huh? No? Yes? Yes. Okay. Um, but I'm currently finishing out my last two weeks in Tokyo. I think it's exactly two weeks from now that I'm going to be hopping on a plane, so there's that. Um, let's see. So I've decided to start vlogging instead of just blogging. I've had my blog, Bow Covered Bunny, for actually, like, like I've been blogging it for a couple years now. I think it's only been Bow Covered Bunny for, like, a year-ish-esque, maybe. Tabun, Tonto, Japanese. You don't speak Japanese. None of you speak Japanese. I'm going to start doing that now, where I'm coming home from Tokyo, and I'm just throwing random bastardized Japanese in with my English. Like, I can't even help it anymore. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you want to go to the mall? Yeah, yeah, Tabun. Taba, no one knows what that means. No one is going to understand me at home. They didn't understand me before and I was speaking English, and this isn't good for anyone. But let's see. Right now, in Tokyo, it's about a gazillion degrees. Ugh. It was, I think, like 90, 85, 90 today. Like, you can tell by the fact that my eye makeup has already melted by the end of the day. That's attractive. One of my eyes is significantly more lined than the other. I didn't even touch it. That shit just happens. Like, it was literally, like, falling off of my face. I don't know how. Um, I'm about to start finals. That's fabulous. Also, I just finally plucked my eyebrows for the first time. I finally learned that blondes can do this. Like, I was always terrified of not having eyebrows, generally speaking because mine are white and they just kind of blend back into my face and so I was always like well clearly I need to have all the eyebrows I can get so I just had two like caterpillars above my face because that's attractive um but I have suddenly learned that eyebrow pencils are a thing a thing that humans use on a daily basis and also that plucking is a thing a painful thing I didn't like that not one bit I had welts for two days I don't know how people get welts from removing tiny hairs one at a time but I did I am a delicate flower. Uh, and on that note, after Hokkaido, I spent, so I recently just went to Hokkaido for a short weekend vacation with some of my other classmates and, well, dorm mates, students, human people in Japan, foreigners, what have you, humans. Uh, we went to Hokkaido, which is the northmost island of Japan. It is much bigger than it looks. And we spent almost all of our time running circles around it trying to just get to places because it is very rural and everything is far apart and that was balls. And, uh, however, it is the land of flowers and it is summer. Flowers, motherfucker. There was lavender. Lavender like a biznitch. And, uh, so while we were up there, we decided to wander through this gorgeous, beautiful, mystical mountain trail. Um, we went to go to this national park and everything was in bloom and it was beautiful and we went up this one nature trail where they're like, walk this way, look how pretty everything is, blah 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 Japanese. And, uh, so we went up that trail and tried to go out that away and then I had my first introduction to Asian tiger mosquitoes, which are the mosquitoes that never go to sleep. And, uh, <laughs> so we were literally walking through visible clouds of mosquito and I'm blind as hell, and I could see these little fuckers just swarming around in circles. So you know how bad it is when I'm, like, legally blind, and they're literally darkening the air with their bugitude, and I can see them? So, like, I could just see myself wandering through mosquitoes, and it's just terrifying, because, like, we'd stop moving for a second, and then you'd just look down, and your leg would be covered in, like, six mosquitoes. Like, six visible mosquitoes, not to mention all the ones that you can't see. So I counted at the end of it. 67 mosquito bites. I'm surprised I'm not dead. Uh, <laughs> but after that, um, some of them looked really bad. Some of them went away almost instantly. I found out that, uh, fun fact, mosquito bites are actually not poison. 
it's actually just a bacteria and uh, so the whatever bacteria was on the mosquito when it was flying around gets into you and then your body's like oh shit that's not cool and has an allergic reaction and so its reaction to that is to create that little welt that you see and it gets itchy because you're basically like getting hives like as if you so apparently this is like what people experience when they have allergic reactions to food or something similar to that like that that just sounds extremely unpleasant doesn't it like you eat a banana and suddenly you're covered in mosquito bites that just that makes everything more real to me but so yes thanks to wikipedia I realized that I just had to uh, pop a couple of anti-allergy, like I have my antihistamines with me because pollen and cats. Luckily, we don't have cats in the norm. I don't think that's a thing, but uh, I've been living a surprisingly cat-free life these days. Uh, but anyway, so I was able to pop three days worth of antihistamines and hope for the best, and some of them turn from giant welt things into not-so-giant little red spots. And, uh, I don't know, maybe that's bad. Like, if you, that's your immune system trying to get shit out, and then I'm just like, nope, lols, you don't get any welts, then maybe it's just like, oh, well, then those bacteria might kill you. I don't know. I, I probably shouldn't even be thinking about it anymore. I just, there's no good, there's no right answer to a situation like this. Being covered in horrifyingly large red dots or not being and possibly dying of strange Japanese bacteria? I don't know, there's, there's, there's just no winning in this situation. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so after I was slightly less covered in a horrifying number of large mosquito bits, I uh, noticed them like two days later starting to heal. But for some reason, instead of just healing like mosquito bites normally do, where they just kind of sink away and leave, these all started to bleed, like internal bleeding. And so now I'm covered in bright green bruises, horrifyingly enough. So, like, the whole back of my leg was just green the other day, and I kind of felt like I should just roll with it and cover myself in zombie makeup and be like, hey guys, what's up? I'm dead. But, um, so I got to spend two days wearing pants and feeling very attractive. One day I actually did just wear shorts, and I was like, fuck y'all, I'm green. But, um, <laughs> so that was a day. Uh, I came home from Hokkaido to two of my friends that hadn't gone that lived in the dorm, and they were just like, like, they didn't even want to look at me. They were just like, oh, God, what happened to you? Why aren't you, why aren't you dead? So that's fun. When you, when you get a, a horrified, like, sickened reaction out of another human being, and you're just like, what's up, guys? That's, that's, <laughs> that was, that was fun, but that was not a good day. Uh, so back, right after that, it was, it was back to school and what have you. So now I just finished a 25-page paper, again. I did this last quarter too. It wasn't fun. I didn't. I did not enjoy that. I don't enjoy writing a paper that I feel like I should be able to publish and make money off of. Like when you're approaching novel length or like novella length like that, you kind of feel like, why am I not getting paid for this? Like I've literally been creating business plans and marketing plans for various businesses that I think might actually want them, and I'm like, you should be paying me. This, this is this is crossing the line a little bit. Like student or no student, I'm not free labor. It's like. I feel like I should get an internship out of this. Maybe like five bucks a Starbucks coffee, something. Anyway, um, so that's that's my life right now. I've got shit to do that I'm ignoring right now because I felt like talking at my camera. Um, also, I really like the fact that like you can see me batting my giant eyelashes. Japanese eyelashes are the best thing since before and after sliced bread. Like they and also their sliced bread here is very weird. So I feel like that's almost a slightly different metaphor saying that from Japan. Like, I'll have to show you some sliced bread here. It's like, you don't get regular bread. You only get fucking Texas toast. Like, it's the size of your head. Um, and that explains why the Japanese don't eat that many sandwiches. They're like, well, I can't handle this. I'll just eat sushi. <laughs> but, okay. Okay, so, I should go. I have shit to do. But, later, um, I was going to do some reviews before I left of fun weird Japanese products especially cosmetics because lately you can go online and you can go on Born Pretty and Amazon and Amazon.jp and what have you and get Japanese products and some of them I'm really loving while I'm over here and some of them I'm going to be stocking up on and shoving into my suitcase and trying to live off of for the next year <laughs> and see how long I can I can get my Japanese products for cheap. Also painfully enough uh, for everyone who loves Dolly Wink lashes, which is actually what I'm currently wearing and which are in my opinion the best Gyaru lashes like and, and girly lashes because they feel really real. I think they're actually silk or hair or something compared to like most of them are made of plastic and they have that kind of shiny hard feel to them. 
like the diamond lashes are definitely plastic. They're still really nice. They're still super long, but they don't feel nice. These feel nice when they're on. They don't feel like you've attached plastic to your head, which is generally the, the sense that you get of like, you've got your wig, you've got your contacts, you've got your, your eyelashes, and you're like, I am half plastic right now. And you're like, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Um, but no, these, these are, these are very soft. And like when I inevitably push up my glasses and try to see the world around me and I blink and they're so long that they're literally pushing against my glasses, it doesn't actually push these off because they aren't plastic. Like I've had that happen on a regular basis where I try to wear my glasses like a normal human up on my face and my lashes are so long that they're brushing against my glasses and either they push off my glasses or they push off the lashes. Like there can only be one. <laughs> and so that that just doesn't work out for me sometimes, but uh, it's getting better. And if you buy nicer lashes, sometimes shit works out. Or I can just take off the glasses and try to live my life without knowing what's going on around me. This this also kind of works. Also, as you can probably tell, I'm not sunburnt. I wanted to try out this new uh, technique. <laughs> technique finger that requires finger quotes because it's been in Japanese magazines but they don't do things because they actually look good on normal humans they they do them because they want to look like anime characters sometimes it works out sometimes it really doesn't this one not so much so like the theme is girl that's got a sunburn foreign girl that's got a sunburn or anime girl blushing where they've got like the just lines across their face so I've got blush going all the way across on my nose and I also wanted to see what would happen if I just kind of like turned this blush up to 11 and just like packed it on as hard as I could and as it turns out my favorite blush is very mild so I could be I could be a little crazy I can I can have fun with this one it's it's just a really light rose even even in real life right now it's it's kind of light so I'm enjoying that I can I can pretend to be a dolly person and just be like oh, I'm so pretty I look so good and just pack on half of the tin of blush and I'll still look relatively human so that's nice can't say that about every blush um okay that's that's it lovelies I will have more words to say at you sometime in the not too distant future I I'm gonna keep recording myself and eventually I'm gonna learn how to do actual vid video editing and then I'll start uploading these when they're not just mostly me staring into the camera not saying anything because cameras are scary okay so for now bye other bunnies <laughs> can you imagine if graveyard girl just suddenly decided to watch this and was like that bitch is bunny there can only be one we need to fight fight to the death just comes to tokyo and like stabs me in the middle of the night or something i feel like that would be an almost reasonable reaction like i'm, I'm kind of treading on her turf here being another another bunny like there's how big of a pool of vlogger youtuber bunnies actually exist right now could could we compose a herd could there could we be a pack of bunnies can we acquire more of us can we make more of us can we make other people start calling themselves bunny to to join our weird little swamp family pack crew fluff again mm. okay bye beautifuls